Right now I'll be showing you how to assemble your cannon. And of course we start with our just regular assembly file and we want to place our components. Now my cannon barrel looks a little bit different from the one I made earlier, but uh, you guys get the idea. So we want to place our cannon holder thing like that. And place our um, our wheel. Now I didn't show you guys how to make a wheel, but I'm pretty sure you can handle that. I mean, it's it's not that difficult to make a wheel, and I'm pretty sure you're more concerned with getting the cannonball moving, so that's what we're going to be covering. So we can just do a simple insert constraint um, to get the wheels right there. Apply, apply. There we go. Alright. And what we want to do is we want to just kind of free rotate our cannon barrel so it's more or less diagonal and placed properly and uh, basically I didn't uh, constrain my my barrel at all all I did was I just kind of put it there and grounded it and it ended up working just fine so that's what I recommend at least I just kind of leave it like right here or wherever it seems good because it's kind of coming in it's kind of cutting in so you want to bring it a little bit higher maybe even higher so it's just barely touching it yeah and from here you can just say grounded and it's not going to move just like that and so that's the basic cannon assembly um, right now what you want to do is place a cannonball in and that's very easy um, making a cannonball is just making a sphere um, I already have one pre-made because it's it's pretty easy it's really is just making a sphere uh, and all you want to do is constrain it maybe a mate to the very bottom of it or in the middle or whatever just a mate and now it's going to hang in the bottom of the cannon and so what we can do right now is place a very small cylinder um, into the barrel of the cannon and what that's going to do is it's going to guide the cannonball out in our animation um, so I'm going to look for the cylinder here wherever it is where is it there we go. Okay. And um, all you have to do is do an insert constraint from here to the barrel. And now it's just going to stay there. And so that's the basic assembly. Um, and in the next video, I'll just show you guys how to animate it.